guys welcome back to another video on the channel today today we're on iRacing driving the spec ford race car around laguna seca um track that we've um, done a fair bit racing on other cars but this was the first time we've come up with this car as an option to race it where um, i actually chose to race it um, really enjoyable car we're using the shifter starting p2 as you can see there and the lights are out we get an okay start you can see there straight away we want to cut to the left and get in his slipstream but just as we get into the slipstream there he mischief something that is really easy to do in um, some of these cars especially when you're coming out the tight corners trying to get into third gear and you're trying to like get it in as fast as you can you sometimes do that mischief and it's it's not an, it's not an embarrassing thing to do at all i've done plenty of them things like that um, a lot of the time you see we're away in, fir in first place now and now we've just got to try and hold this position as best as we can you can see we've got the um replay camera in that top right hand corner for you guys to see the action from that camera perspective i've done it a little bit bigger this time so you can see a little bit more of the action clearly so now we're just trying to concentrate and hold this lead this car there is a fairly big slipstream with this car that you need to bear in mind and i knew that my pace wasn't brilliant in these conditions i think it was 104 degrees track temperatures obviously the clear skies so the track really does have some heat in it and then um, not the best conditions for my setup that I'd created. Obviously, you don't know the setup until you go into qualifying, and um, I'd done a lot. Of, I'd had a fair few races of around 84 degrees, and in them conditions, my car was really nicely set up. Um, we were actually keeping up with one of the other guys that was um, later on in the week when um, we had conditions like that. That was just these conditions. It was about a second quicker than ourselves in qualifying, and around half a second to seven tenths faster every lap in the race but as soon as it went down to 84 degrees we were matching him every lap in the race and we qualified i think we actually got pole in that race because he didn't qualify but in the race we were exactly matching his times um, but unfortunately i made an error and had to start in the pit lane for that race but it, you could see when we were going over the line every lap it was just staying the same the gap between ourselves so um, whether he wasn't pushing us hard but it was definitely more competitive in the lower temp you can see now the guy in second place is going to go down the outside and have a little look there but we're going to cover the inside because as long as you keep the inside line and don't don't accelerate too hard for the corner keep it tight and give yourself a reasonable exit there's not much they can do to get past you there it's still possible in certain circumstances but um, he wasn't really close enough to get the draft and go down that right hand side so we defended that quite well um, really nice corners in this car really enjoyed driving this car it's um, got a real nice feel into it you've got to be careful on the brakes what we've done to the setup while we were driving it um, we altered our brake balance to about 59.5 front bias I think because it has a tendency to it's got no ABS obviously so when you're hard on the brakes if you run in a little bit more rear um, bias it tended to flick out of the rear a bit and unstabilize the rear end and then that would cause a bit of trouble getting on the power because it's not the most powerful car so it bogged down a fair bit so we ran our brake bias quite a bit forward and um, the only sometimes it caused a little bit of an issue going into like the corkscrew here you'd lock sides of us but he's on our right hand side there you can see in the top right corner on the camera but we braked late enough and held a nice enough line and held that position again so again as long as you stay to that left hand side on that corkscrew you should be safe to hold that position there is a few opportunities to overtake on this track but they're not the easiest opportunities you're normally relying on someone making an error or um, doing something a little bit wrong here's another opportunity that you can sometimes make an overtaking move on but um, again it's not the easiest to pull off so going over the line we've managed to hold the lead through lap one and you can see in the top right corner there's about four or five cars reasonably close together at this point and um, just trying to get some consistency going now because that first lap was about a lot of defending going on wasn't the best first lap we could have got so again we're going to hold quite a tight line for this corner i like to keep it nice and tight to that first corner there's a lot of traction on the inside there but you can see how much better his car is set up for um, the slower corners it's probably something to do with the tire pressures that we um, maybe needed to alter i've been watching a few videos in i racing and um, a lot of the top guys i've watched some videos by um, wyatt gooden and um, they were stating that you don't really want to judge your temperatures of your tyres with the pressure because the iRacing racing doesn't really work like that so it's just about trial and error and get finding a nice pressure so that's that's just interesting to hear and um, we'll have a little look into that but another few changes that we made with this car I'm trying to remember what we changed there um, I think we actually lowered it slightly obviously just not too much though because some of the curbs that you're attacking are quite aggressive and you don't want it hitting slamming down I think you might be able to see in the top right hand corner if we go through the corkscrew some um, sparks flying off our car 
when we hit like bottom out slightly you might see them every now and then I'm not too sure if they'll show up on this camera angle but every now and then through there they were sparking out a bit because the car was about as low as we could go I didn't want to go to like slam into the floor we did I think it was two clicks lower um, and I think we may have softened the um, roll bar up at the rear so it's it was I'm not sure if default setup was completely soft on the rear but we definitely did something just to stabilize the car and give us a bit more traction out the rear end for mainly that last corner and a few other corners so again looking going into turn one he's in our slipstream we get a really big slipstream with this guy it's very similar to the MX-5 for the slipstream and again we're gonna make sure we've got that left hand side for this corner but we'll just bring it over to the right hand side just so we can get a clean exit from the corner we hit the curb slightly there which did compromise the exit a bit but you can see we've covered the right hand side so he's gonna have to go around the left and not really much chance to go around the left there but what he's trying to line up there I knew he was doing it was to get a clean exit and then take the right hand side and try and cut one down this throw one down that right hand side but again he didn't really get close enough so we've managed to hold that position reasonably well and then going into this little corner sometimes it was catching me out sometimes um, before I changed the brake balance and um, that's one of the reasons why I altered it to 59.5 when it was a bit lower as I chucked it in I'm throwing it in obviously the brake balance was kicking the rear out and we were losing a lot of time um, really nice corner that in this car the fast left there before the court crew really enjoyed that I managed to gain quite a bit of time on some people through that corner because I, I seem to be able to get the most out of that corner a lot of the time this corner I'm not too sure we went down to second gear for this corner I did watch some other people's videos like um, we watched Matt Malone, I watched one of Matt Malone's videos and um, he was changing gear in third gear there but I think second gear is better for safety third gear is probably faster but it was just so loose when you're watching people do it in third gear I would always go for the second gear safest approach and get a clean exit as you can see there we've got enough of a, enough of a margin now just to hold that first place still going down the, the start straight so again trying to get a clean exit key to making sure you can defend this position now going into turn one obviously with the slipstream it's quite a long straight in this car because it's not the fastest car you can see the slipstream he's got but again I'm going to stick the car to that left hand side make him go around the long way and break as late as I can but try and make sure I don't break too late that I open that inside corner up you want to make sure you're breaking late but enough to keep that inside line as long as you're defending that inside line there's not much they can do to get past you there I mean they will there is possibilities especially if you don't get a perfect exit or um, you come across a situation that you know gives them the opportunity to overtake but as long as you're reasonably consistent and you're breaking and they're holding that inside line you can normally defend it quite well and you can see we've actually got a little bit of a gap to um, fair place now but I think there was some one of the other guys was coming through maybe started a bit further back I don't know if he didn't qualify or something but um, I did notice he was coming through the field and was gaining a bit so it was gonna turn into a three-way battle this is we're still defending really well again chucking the car in you can see our lap time our lap deltas are a little bit off what we um, our best lap we done I think 37.3 we done was when the temperatures were a bit lower but even that wasn't a brilliant lap I think we managed to do a 36 point something in the race conditions and uh, 36.6 once it was in the race and that was when it was around the 84 degrees that was when our car seemed to come alive and um, with, the, with the track temperatures um, something that is just going to be learnt over time with our race and obviously I'm still fairly new I've only been playing it about two months this game just over two months so still learning stuff um, especially when driving new cars like this it's not a car I've come across um, on any game pretty much but it's a really enjoyable car handles really nice on this game I'm surprised it's not a little bit more popular than it actually is because although it's not the fastest car it, from the races that I've had they've been very close nearly every race I had in this there was always two to three cars battling it out for the lead so it was, it was a really fun series to be involved in hopefully if I can get some more content very soon um, we'll be able to do a few more races in this car as they pop up on the odd track that come up um, I think there's one more track we might be able to do actually when it comes up at the end of the season um, on it's possibly Lime Rock the fourth track version I think that this car's on that so we'll probably do that as well um, it should probably be a very hard car to drive around there I imagine with some of them undulating up and like the hill, hilly turns and that I can just see the back end you're gonna have to probably work on the setup a little bit there but again holding that lead reasonably well um, just trying to concentrate on getting the apexes right so that you're giving yourself a clean exit that's that's how I always concentrate on defending these positions because even if you're not driving to the maximum speed of the car as long as you're getting that clean exit to defend for the next corner you, you should be okay 
but you can see we're actually holding okay pace we've pulled out a big lead to um, the fourth place guy you can see third place is now very close to us you can see him just appearing there on the top right hand corner on the camera on the tv camera third place is gonna get in on the action now and make this a good free way battle but you can see fourth place is about 12 seconds behind there 16 seconds behind so you know we've got good pace still considering we're defending all the time and again we run a little bit wider this is that was a corner that sometimes would catch me out but as long as you get it back over to the right hand side and on the track in a straight line before you hit the braking zone you should be okay um, it's just about not locking them tires up so again we're going to go over to the left hand side again you're going to see there it can be frustrating when you're behind someone and they're defending well as well because there's not much you can do uh, to get past really you know in, if you were in say for like example on the console i'm guessing that a lot of people would just end, end up ramming you out of the way but doesn't really happen on i racing people are just so respectful the way they race I'm, I'm not really having too many dirty races now and um, i've got past that stage and um, we're just coming up against a lot of clean races it's mainly probably because also as you can see now he's on our right hand side we're going to try and defend this now round the outside this is a really hard thing to do so we actually give that up because there was not much point in defending that and there's some back markers there so now we've got to try and get this position back it's a great little battle this you can see what i'm going to do is try and get a clean exit from this and hope them back markers get in the way somehow you know they're, they're literally in the worst pace possible if it, for the guy in the lead so it looks like that guy's getting out of the way and now i've got to concentrate and get a really clean exit because i know there's going to be an overtaking move possible here if we get a good clean exit so we've got a really nice exit from that corner you can see we're back in the slipstream just pull out the way to the left there just in time to avoid the back marker and we've got the inside line which is really key to get the move done on this corner and we lock the tires up slightly but just about managed to hold it you can see in our mirror stay to the left give them a bit of space but good thing about staying to the left on this corner is you've then got the inside line for this corner there's a lot of grip on the left hand side there i tended to take a very tight line through that corner because i found a lot of traction through that corner and we've got that position back you can see there nice little bit of battling and then um, back in the lead luckily i think if he would have got away then we would have struggled to get past him on any other position but we had to get any other place we had to really try and get that position back as soon as possible just so that we wouldn't be stuck behind them because i don't think we had the speed in these conditions to really challenge for the, um, beating him in outright pace but you know slip to him it's possible to stay with him and then throw a move up like we did then we just really put the effort in on getting that one clean corner and you can see now third place it's actually it looks like there's actually been a swapper position there it looks like he didn't get the best exit on that um, last corner and third place has also overtook him so he's gone from third place to um, first place to third place he went from second to first then back to third so you can see how this race is developing a um, great little battle going on uh, i think this lap this race was 15 laps in this car which is a fairly long race around here um, obviously with the lap times being nearly you know one minute four very similar lap times actually to the mx5 around one minute 38 to one minute 40 or one minute 36 to 36 depending on the track conditions so again we wanted to get a nice clean exit i was trying my hardest at this point i was thinking to myself if i can break a slipstream and they're battling i might be able to pull up a little bit of a lead and give myself a chance to break free but i think the guy that was behind me was a, was a fair bit quicker um, he seemed very fast then um, i don't think he had qualified in, the, in these conditions his car seemed very well set up you can see now you can probably hear it on the throttle having to back off a lot i don't know if it's because our tires were just where the pressures weren't perfect maybe we should have raised the um, <coughs> tire pressures on the rear slightly to give ourselves a bit more turn in him not too sure how how it'd work um, <coughs> obviously lower pressures on the front and higher on the rear would give you a better front end <coughs> and you can see now going over line we're trying to keep our laps as consistent as we can and um, the last lap before that where we've made the error was quite a bad lap you can see there we were in the 41 before that, but back into the 39s now mid 39s and it looks like we're getting, holding a reasonable gap to second place but this corner seemed to be where i was losing a lot of time i was locking up them tires fairly easy i mean it would be a great help if we could get some although the pedals are okay that i use the t500 um the pro pedals you know they're not the best for getting the res like the resilience from the brake pedal the brake pedal properly um, something in the future maybe depending on cost and uh, how much of a benefit they're going to give because um, maybe a brake mod or something like that will be something we'll have a look at in the future but so most of the cars we're going to be racing most of the time it shouldn't really be an issue for you can see we've got a back mark we got out the way really nicely there okay position didn't really cost me too much i, I was a little bit hesitant because didn't know when he'd be getting out of the way but you can 
to see we managed to hold first base but second place took that corner really well there so i knew i was gonna have to think about going defensive so we position our car just about there so we can't throw a move down that left so i, di I didn't really want to give him the idea of doing it because if he does it could result in a bit of a you know, horrible crash between both of us but we held that position nicely and now we're going into lap coming up to lap 10 nearly um, we've got a, another back marker in front of us. You can see how the pace that we had was reasonably good because we're lapping a lot of people. Um, you, know, you don't find too many splits in this race. I think one or two is mainly the splits because there's not too many people doing this race. But again, he, the back marker ran really wide and I was, this is where I was just thinking, getting his slipstream because it could save me here because he, the guy behind was extremely fast. So I was trying to stay in his slipstream but not long enough to give the, the second place guy an idea of throwing it down that left hand side. So. He's going to get a bit of the slipstream now, but it looks like it should be okay. But this back mark is going to probably come out in the way a bit annoyingly now. But I was hoping he'd get out of the way on the straight. So we're staying to the left, and then he goes out the right to the right hand side there. And I can't defend that right hand side because he's there. And second place has put the car there, so it, it compromised my defense for this corner. So we tried to hold it around the outside there as much as I could. You can see we're still side by side at this point. Going into this fast right hand, the side by side still. Going to try and hold it out as long as I can through that corner, but again, you're going to lose out on exit. And now third place is coming down the right hand side, so I'm going to try and get in the slipstream and have a little look at the inside to just try and tuck in behind the first place blow, but not much I could do there. And we've gone from first to third basically because the back marker just compromised our defense of that corner but that's racing that's how it goes back markers come at you know they don't always get out of the way in the perfect places not really the back markers fault really and um, if we would have been a little bit closer down the straight maybe we could have said he should have got out on the straight I'm not too sure but um, again going into the corkscrew I think to myself if I can get down the left hand side I might be able to get a position back so we took him stay to the left and we've got nearly basically all three of us on the same part of the track nearly them going into this left hander and we have a little bit of contact to just about save the back end and then he's looking back to get into first place there and it looks like he's going to do it as we come into this final corner really tricky corner my idea now was get to the right hand side try and get a really strong exit from the corner but we've got the guy on our left hand side so we couldn't turn in and then we had to break slightly because the guy in front of us just i didn't don't think he took the bend perfectly and we couldn't get on the power. If we would have been able to get on the power, then we probably could have made a move for back to get to first place. But again, okay, great racing for a whole lap there. This is why I play I racing. You know, this is the type of racing you want to be seeing and watching and, and involved in. Um, you don't get this on many other games. And again, we, we managed to get side by side by second place both now. And we're going to look at trying to get around the outside, but there's just not much chance of doing that. Um, this corner so again we tuck in and just trying to see if we can get this slipstream have a little look just so he knows we're there and then trying to throw it into this corner as well as we can and get on the power we clipped the curb a little bit too hard so didn't get the cleanest exit but going into now this left hand corner and again we're just going to try and stay in the slipstream now and um, see what happens now this is just a case of just seeing if any opportunities arise going into the corner now this is a corner I know if I get if you get right you can get in the slipstream we did that reasonably well there we ran a little bit wide lost us a little bit of speed but because he's got the slipstream on the car in front also it's just bunching us up closer together again so again we can't break late as late as I would have liked so I'm going to it, try and get as clean an exit as I can by coming in from a wider angle and getting a clean smooth exit but again we're all three of us do that corner reasonably well again I take a really tight line through that corner it's just something I like doing on that corner and then going down the gears and then turn to attacking this corner now you can see I was trying to look to see if there was space on that left hand side but I just it's just too risky I didn't want to take anyone out wanted to keep it clean and try and get a clean exit from this corner we did a reasonable exit there but again because he's getting the slipstream he's gaining that advantage as well on straight line speed so you can see how close it is over the line and we're all within one second basically half a second of each other really good racing going on and again it's really clean close and that's what i like to um, experience on this game you see the leader had a massive lock up going into that corner you can see the smoke coming from his tires and now i think everyone's getting a little bit you know there's a few laps to go so we're all basically thinking you know one mistake is gonna give someone the lead and I was just trying to, my, my view at this point was, you know, just hold on at this point. I don't think I had the outright pace to start making lunges and stuff. So I was just thinking, hold on, keep it smooth and um, try and see if I can you know, take advantage of a little mistake. It's like, you know, if he's battling out with him, he may go offline or something could happen where they're going defensive and I can just 
take advantage and go around the outside. So again, he's going left then. I was thinking, yo, that's going to compromise his exit, but I don't. I think he managed to take it reasonably well. Still, so you see, we actually did take it a little bit better. But again, although we've got the slipstream, I can't really get into a position to overtake. So we're going to have to break early again. You can see how early we break there. It was a good like five to ten meters earlier than what we would normally break because I just didn't want to risk the lock up. So going into these corners again, took a little bit of a wider line than what I would normally take. And then attacking these corners and coming into this right hand corner you can see this this says it's a slow car it got a back end went really loose just about caught it and then so close to hitting that car that had been taken out there i, I was when that happened i can tell you i, I, I had massive panic moment because i caught the back end saved it and thought well i've got space on that left hand side so just straighten it up don't try and keep it on the track because if you do that back end's going to go and you're going to lose the car but we managed to save the back end, but then we I could just see the front end of another car looking at me and I, I just, just a bit, it was, not, it was a matter of feet of, of not hitting that guy, um, but we got away with that just about, and just about kept ourselves in the slipstream with these two guys ahead of us, and I can see they've got another back marker coming up there now, there's only a few laps left in this race, so it's getting really intense at this point, it's just about trying to concentrate, keep the car on the track, and then hope that back marker slows them down slightly, or you know, I was hoping maybe he stays to the left and makes him like race a bit more, but he got out of all our ways. You know, that's good racing, it's what you want to see really. But um, from my view, I was just hoping something would happen to slow him down a bit. Again, back him went a little bit loose through that corner, but I just about saved it and then um, kept on the power. And then attacking into the um, bend before the course. So again, this is where I, had to, I was tended to be able to get a lot of speed through this corner. You can see again, we, we did that really well there and got ourselves in the slipstream quite a bit. And you can see on the delta on top, it's going green slightly there. Um, and that was in better conditions the lap that that was setting. So that's when you know, you can see I braked a bit later where I would normally have liked braking. And you can see how much I was compromised not on the previous laps where I was having to brake early because we braked a little bit later and caught up a lot through that corner. So now I was just concentrating on not making the same mistake through this corner again. You know, I didn't want to throw it too far over to that left and get on that curb and lose that back end. So I was just trying to keep it clean. You see the guy in seconds looking to take that left hand side and try and get in the lead there. So I was just thinking, get in this slipstream, concentrate, don't worry about that. I was I just didn't care about the times ones at this point. My safety rating, I just I, I was just not interested in it, you know. Safety rating you can get you can get that back fairly easy. So my aim was just trying to see if I could get in the lead of this race and um, battle for even a second place so I went wide there so I could get the undercut through this corner and try and get a clean exit to get more in the slipstream I knew it wouldn't be an overtaking move but I knew it would be about getting more speed out of that corner to get closer to them coming up to the um, corkscrew for the up the hill and um, that was quite a good overtaking place if if you could get the situation right but it's a really risky place to overtake so again all three of us battling it out now with just two laps to go you can see everyone wants to get the win in this race because it's been a great race and second place having a little look down that left hand side and we're just going to tuck in behind and try and get a bit of a slipstream you can see there again i think he has a little look down the left does he have a little look left? he's just looking down left it's something you can actually do actually just to give yourself a, more of a brake reference because when you're that close to a car in front you, you tend to miss the, the um, turning in reference so what i tend to do sometimes is just tuck to the left a bit and then just when you see it turn over to the right and then chuck the car in again we've got a very good slipstream coming up the hill but again we have to break a little bit early because we don't want to take anyone out and again i think they might have been doing that in third gear because they seem to be able to stop the car later than them and get into the corner a bit better than they were going to bet a bit better pull out of the corner so it was i was not too sure which is the best way to take it but i just preferred it in second gear and then going into third gear so you can see the second place is gonna have a little look down the right hand side and try and cut back a bit now this is what i was thinking of doing as well we both had the same idea there and i thought i'm going to talk into that slipstream because i didn't know if um, i didn't really want to be on the left side so then i changed my mind went to the left hand side got his slipstream and this is basically the last lap now and everyone wants to win now you can see second place is gonna get it looks like he's gonna get first place off of the guy but he breaks very late a little bit too late um but we get on the inside of the guy who was in the lead just about and he actually did that really well the um, guy from second place got himself in the lead really nicely and we're on second place but second third place then gets us uh, on the inside line holds that line and keeps his second place there we ran a little bit wide not caring about safety rating just battling out to see what positions we can get and again i got a really nice exit from that corner i lined myself up where i could have threw one down the left hand side so i've put it down the left hand side and see how late we can break we break a little bit late but again he breaks very late he leaves us just about enough room for ourselves to get through that corner 
and again we're just gonna have to tuck into the slipstream we've got more speed going into the left hand but there's just you just can't put one up the, the inside on this corner it's too dangerous and you just don't make moves like that so we ran a little bit wide and lost some momentum up the hill maybe i should have just stuck to the right hand side got any slipstream a clean exit from that corner but in the heat of the moment i made the wrong decision and then um, going through the corkscrew final time and it's very close between all three of us you can see now another great battle for the lead and then coming into the final we got a back marker just about to come into play shame that wasn't a little bit early maybe it could have affected a little bit more but you can see now going into the final corner there's just no there's no one's really close enough to make a move so just about getting out the final corner and going over the line and very good race again really enjoyable thoroughly enjoyed that race um, I look forward to racing this car again on a different track and maybe some other tracks in the future when we've got more content. Uh, I should have an update with regards to content very soon. I'm really looking forward to some of the content I'm going to be able to bring you guys on iRacing. Anyway guys, thanks again for watching. I'll leave that lap when we were all racing for that basically the whole lap. For, um, all three of us very close. You can see now where the back marker just got in the way there where I couldn't go defensive. Really frustrating. But um, again, thanks for watching. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. And I'll be back with more of these videos very soon. Thank you guys.